Sammy. All right, I am prepared and ready to head out for my hike. It is like 9, 15-ish, so I'm probably going to arrive at 10.30, and this is like six miles round trip, but it's a place I haven't been to before, so I am looking forward to it. It's already sunny outside, so I think it's going to be an awesome drive. Beautiful. All right, so just got to the trail. Um, surprisingly enough, while I was driving over here, there was some trails along the side of the road closer to civilization, and there were so many cars parked on the side, and I'm really surprised given that it's Christmas, but here there was like five, six cars parked along the side of the road, and I guess it's also near other stuff? I don't know. So maybe I can assume that not every single car parked there is actually hiking on this trail but i guess i'll really see if i come across any of them and hopefully they are respectful but i'm probably not going to film too much if possible because it will slow down my pace drastically <laughs> came across this area so pretty and it's actually <laughs> getting a little hot now since I have three layers on and the sun is shining but I barely just started need to make it through I actually really like this open plains hike you get to see the beauty instead of it being covered by trees and stuff and it's pretty peaceful, very quiet out here. Silly girl. I think we're almost there. I see a rock statue thing at the end. Honestly, this is gorgeous. So beautiful. This is actually the strangest thing. So there is a lot of Chinese people here today, like a lot. And this is not <laughs> what I was expecting. This is so pretty. I actually can't get a good picture on the Eagle Rock because they're swarming all over it and they all are taking turns getting pictures. So I don't wanna stay here and wait my turn, which is gonna take forever. So here's another rock on the side that I'm standing on and I'll get a nice picture of her. Oh, there you are. There you are. Oh my god, it's so dark. She's basically looking in that direction because there are a lot of people there making noise. But it is a little hot out here. There's no shade, so I should probably head back soon before she gets overheated. But she looks like she's doing okay. It's beautiful out here. Riley. Hi, good girl. Speak. Good. Are you out of breath? Speak. Good. Speak. Good girl. Break. Good. Oh, careful. Don't hurt yourself. Break. Good. Let's go this way. So actually before when we passed by this area, I was super impressed that she manages to not step on the poop. I thought that dogs just didn't give a shit, but <laughs> it's a good thing that she didn't. Okay, just got back to my car. It is 1.09 and it took about two and a half hours round trip. It would have been shorter except at the very end for like the last mile or so, I was behind two people and I guess I didn't want to ask if I should pass them or not, but they didn't say anything. They didn't move aside to let me pass. And it wasn't until we came across a fork where they were like, oh, which direction do we go? And then I took that opportunity to go past. But overall, I do really like this hike. The trail was pretty wide the whole time. There was a lot of open plains towards the last mile with the Eagle Rock, which unfortunately I wasn't able to get a good picture of because 
there were Chinese people swarming all over it. I actually thought it was so funny. Like, where did these Chinese people come from? I thought that Christmas was where people would stay in and do things together, not go out and hike, which really surprised me. But I guess it was kind of entertaining. Um, I did come across several dogs on leash, but since this trail had decent spacing on the side, I always just walked to the far side, making sure I put good enough distance between me and them. That way there would be no contact. Um, I actually think trails like this definitely ease my mind in terms of coming across dogs because if I can put distance between me and them, then there is probably less likely a chance of something happening. All of them were on leash. Um, Riley was off leash, but anytime I come across people on the trail, I call her back to me and she has to walk by my side until we pass them. And then I let her go in front of me, but I do need to pick up lunch now. I have worked up my appetite and I'm ready to just devour whatever is in front of me. just got back from my hike. Along the way I stopped by Kung Fu Tea and I have to say Asian people are incredibly, incredibly surprising with their habits. So I went on my hike expecting it to have very few people. Then I get to the destination and there is literally 20 Chinese people there it was crazy <laughs> and then I went to bubble tea and the line is out the door so I'm guessing that Asian people don't care for the holidays as much I mean it kind of makes sense maybe because my parents don't care about Christmas I don't care about Christmas but it was kind of humorous to see that other Asians don't care about Christmas either right Samuel But I only ate yogurt today, so I'm starving, and I have a German movie I want to watch, so I'm gonna get right on that. Blah. 